This is section 22 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Girls by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. In my capacity of publisher, I recently received a manuscript from a teacher which embodied a number of answers given by her pupils to questions propounded. These answers show that the children had nothing but the sound to go by. The sense was perfectly empty. Here are some of their answers to words they were asked to define. Auriferous, pertaining to an orifice. Ammonia, the food of the gods. Equestrian, one who asks questions. Parasite, a kind of umbrella. Ipecaca, man who likes a good dinner. And here is the definition of an ancient word honored by a great party. Republican, a sinner mentioned in the Bible. And here is an innocent deliverance of a zoological kind. There are a good many donkeys in the theological gardens. Here also is a definition which really isn't very bad in its way. Demagogue, a vessel containing beer and other liquids. Here, too, is a sample of a boy's composition on girls, which, I must say, I rather like. Girls are very stuck-up and dignified in their manner and behavior. They think more of dress than anything, and like to play with dowels and rags. They cry if they see a cow in a far distance, and are afraid of guns. They stay at home all the time, and go to church every Sunday. They are always sick. They are always furry, and making fun of boys' hands, and they say, how dirty! They can't play marbles. I pity them poor things. They make fun of boys, and then turn round and love them. I don't believe they ever kiled a cat or anything. They look out every night and say, Oh, ain't the moon lovely! There is one thing I have not told, and that is, they always now their lessons better'n boys. End of Girls by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman.